demonstrate uh, a one-hand tie around a hemostatic forceps uh, first requires that you properly place um, the hemostatic forceps. I'm using a Kelly forceps in the correct manner. The correct manner means that I have my uh, thumb and um, ring fingers in the respective uh, rings in the instrument. I sometimes use my index finger to help stabilize the instrument. And the instrument is um, used with the curve toward my midline, which is right here. Okay. Now, in order to um, properly clamp uh, a, a vessel, you're going to use your rat tooth forceps, roll the skin edge out, and you're going to actually place the, the, the two uh, limbs of the hemostatic forcep down. You press into the tissue and you grab the vessel, which is sometimes easier said than done. Now I've successfully grasped the vessel in that manner, and then I'm going to roll it over until I uh, perform the ligation. Um, generally speaking, what you do after you make your incision is go ahead and clamp the vessels, and then you're prepared to perform your uh, ligation technique. Now to do this properly uh, certainly requires an assistant. Uh, surgeon, and so I will have my trusty assistant come and, and help. Now, one of the reasons that I applied the Kelly forceps in that manner is that when you tie around a hemostatic forceps, you need to have the tips of the instrument presented to the surgeon. And you'll oftentimes hear surgeons say, tips up, tips up, meaning that you want the tip up in order to allow you to see and to make sure that you can clearly see that your suture is underneath. Uh, the tips of the instrument and also obviously if it's underneath the tips of the instrument it will be completely encircling the um, involved vessel. Now for this one I will demonstrate a left-handed one-hand tie. Remember as with any one-hand tie um, the short end of the uh, suture is in the hand that's doing the tying. And so you'll notice that I'm going to complete two throws. Now, at this point, I'm going to have that pretty darn snug, and I'm going to have the assistant, once I seat that into the um, tissue, the assistant now is going to release the clamp. And now I completely snug down that suture, and then I'm going to complete the second throw of a left-handed one-hand technique. Now I put an additional throw on top. So I have a single knot with one additional throw, a square knot with one additional throw. For this hemostatic forcep and vessel, I will demonstrate a right hand one hand tie. Notice the difference right away is that I'm using the short end of the suture material now in my right hand. The tips of the instrument are up, meaning that I can clearly see the tips being the surgeon. I'm going to um, complete a one handed tie. Okay, the, surgeon, the assistant surgeon is going to release. I'm going to snug the suture material into the surrounding tissue completely occluding the vessel, and then complete the square knot. I'm going to put one additional throw on top. So I've performed a square knot with a right hand, one hand technique with one additional throw.